hi everybody welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do um, originally I wanted to do an unboxing but I was impatient so I didn't so now I figure I would do more like a record collection haul um, and then my review on my uh, portable record player that you see right here so let's go ahead and take a look at that Let me move you closer this area currently is my kids like work play area they don't use it as much anymore so I'm thinking of swapping it out I want to do something like really cute in this corner for myself um, so I'm getting it together but anyway let's take a look here so right here let me get down here I just leave it here because there's a plug over there and it's easier um, so this here um, is the Victrola my husband did get it for me for Christmas originally he had gotten me another brand um, I can't think of the other brand it was a suitcase one also but the records did not play well in it so he went back to the store and spoke to someone and they said that this one was better as far as like um, you know a brand of this type of record player so it is white which is not my favorite but I plan on putting um, a bunch of stickers it did come with like 50 something stickers this was the only one that I like that it came with so I didn't put those all over them um, I rather just collect my own stickers and do that so let's open it up pretty simple inside as far as like the design is kind of plain um, it has this lever here that you will see I'm glad I did that because I do that wrong all the time this little latch right here you have to open first and then you use this to lift up the arm that you can bring it over you know where your record would be and then once you put it down it drops down for you you can see that right there um, so that's a good feature I'm pretty sure they all have them I didn't realize that first because I'm impatient and I didn't read <laughs> any of the directions or whatever so I just opened it up starting to use it and I wasn't doing that right so there we go so then you put it back over push the lever down um, i'm hoping i'm not in the way so y'all can't see let me sit down this way off to the side so um you know you push the lever down like that and it'll hold it down in place and then this clicks it over it did come with an extra needle piece that can be slid you know on there it also came with this adapter piece for you know depending on the size of record that you have I know like I guess serious <laughs> I don't want to say serious people or serious record listeners but um, I've thought that these this style record player was fine because obviously I'm not DJing or anything I just want to have a record player to listen to records so it's fine reading the reviews I want to say really go by the reviews a whole lot because a lot of people feel like these are like fake record players they're all crap this this and that like I said for just like a novice like myself who just wants to listen to records on a record player this is fine what I will say it does have the built-in speakers what I did find in the reviews that I would say is accurate is depending on how loud you turn the speak the speaker up it can add additional vibration um, that can mess with how the record is played so the main suggestion was to get a Bluetooth uh, what do you call it a Bluetooth um, speaker a wireless Bluetooth speaker which you can connect to on here and play the sound through that and whatever um, my best friend has one she has a different brand but she has her speaker she said the speaker made a big difference um, I did order a speaker but I didn't um, or I was gonna order it and maybe I didn't finish order I don't remember what happened with it but I don't have it um, so I just have to find um, possibly find another one but so far I like how it's played um, it has this knob here that says um, BT out BTN BT out phono live in um, it has a jack for headphones and then um you know so you can adjust that this does not have um oh yes it yes it does so it has right here 
you can adjust the speed um, of the record to make sure you know it's playing properly like it should the first one I don't think it had that adjustment on it or it might have but it wasn't really working properly because the sound was just not good this is night and day the other record too I guess I could put one on there to show you I know y'all can't really see me um, but you can hear me the point is to look at the record player right so the other one that I returned you put the record on right and I'm doing this from the side so I can't see when the record spun if you see over there in the corner for this back piece but on that side the record was so close to it that it was just I think it was like dragging across there and I think that could have been um I think that could play into why I didn't like it it wasn't working well but anyway this has enough clearance back there so when the record is playing it does not touch and um you know so that's a good thing but overall you know it does work really well and you know for the price point and for my purposes i think it is you know a good deal and it works really well so now next we have and let me see i may adjust let me adjust the angle so you guys can see the records when i hold them up one second so i'll just go from how they are here this one actually because for christmas my husband got me the record player and then he got me um the beyonce homecoming so let's do it like that he got me the record player and he got me the beyonce um homecoming kit right here and this one needs to have a separate all by itself because this right here, this thing, first of all, the music, of course, it sounds amazing, but just in general, as far as the aesthetics of it. So here's the front, here's the back. Um, and then it came with a, before you even get to the albums, in here because it's on four it's split between four records it came with this really pretty booklet that has um you know it has all of the the pictures and stuff in here all of the visuals from homecoming um so basically everything you saw when you watched it on um you know when you watched it on tv so it's just really cool it's a nice uh, keepsake and really if you wanted to especially from for some of like the super cool images you could really like take these out and frame them or do some kind of project or something to have them hung on the wall uh, so yeah this is really pretty I like this part of it I thought that was really a really nice touch to the whole presentation I think she does that with a lot of her stuff too the presentation is just it's super nice so like I said this one is actually a four four set record so here's the first one here's the back of that okay this is the second one have the back and oh that came out so this one actually is in a sleeve like this which is still she thought about like the color theme and everything and then it has its outer cover which are these right here um so your records are definitely protected in there you have this one and also this one and i think this is just it's really nice it's really pretty um and like i said these her albums especially she took you know the care to make them aesthetically pleasing so you can definitely um, you know have them on display this one here um, I actually picked up for myself and this is no I didn't that's not true um, my husband got me this one for Valentine's Day so this is John Legend this is my favorite album of his when we were um, in college I used to blast this like all the time in the dorm room <laughs> I had the RAs come several times to tell me to turn it down but so he got me this one 
Um, this one visually is nice also. I like the black and white, uh, you know, theme of it right here. And you have all the credits and stuff on the back. Then there's this one, which is up here. Um, but yeah, this one is really nice. Also, I play this one often. So we have that. Let's just go in order. And then this one I got for myself because, I mean, of course. <laughs> so this one, again, you have the visuals. This one is a little bit different because it opens like that. Um, but again, just like Homecoming, she has the insert right here, you know, with all the really nice pictures. I love the black and white theme of this. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then, you know, you have some colors. The moments that you remember from her visual album, um, I think she did a good job of capturing those images in here. So that comes with that. And then you open this one like this. That's how that looks. And then the albums, which are like, come on, look at this. So pretty, so colorful. It's just like a whole full thought, pro thought process for the design and how everything looks. And again, this one comes to like the other one. Oh, I didn't even put it back in there right. It has the individual sleeves, which are not even plain. Even these have design on them. So you can take your, your record. And there's another album set. I won't say which one it is because I want to get it. Like my favorite group, uh, boy band, I guess you could call it, um, from when I was younger. I'm trying to get that one. I'm trying to find it for a better price. So far, I've only found it on Amazon. And you know how Amazon is? with the way people put stuff on there and list it and price it. So I really want it. So if I can't find it for a better price, I'll get it from there. But that one has really pretty records also. So there's that. This one is, how many came in here? Yeah, this one is two records, but double-sided. Home Homecoming is four records double-sided. So there's that one. And then this one, another all-time all-time favorite artist of mine um this is the lauren hill one of course miss education lauren hill i got this one from my best friend for christmas um so this one is really cool not as ornate as the other ones here's the front and the back but still it's still nice um you know you have some imaging on here it's this one and this one is a two record set and it's double sided so this one's more simple but um still nice nonetheless let's put those back in there and these records were just black these weren't anything uh oh these weren't anything special as far as the um the record itself now this one my husband also got for me i have not listened to this one yet actually um, this one he got from, he has a friend who's in a band and he has a record shop and he has all type of like, um, vintage and just oldies records and stuff like that. He was telling me, um, my husband was telling me that he discussed with him like the rating system for the condition of the records and so on and so forth. So really cool stuff he had in there. I haven't gone myself yet, but you know, from what I was told, they had some really good stuff in there. So here's this one. Um, just a plain, plain sleeve, nothing special. Let's look at the record. Pretty simple. You know, again, I haven't listened to this one yet, but this one's really cool. Um, and this one I got for my birthday. <laughs> this one and one other one. So basically we have Christmas. So I got the first batch for Christmas. And then my birthday is in February. So two months after that, then I got more. And then my birth, or excuse me, my birthday is the beginning of February. And so I got for that. And then Valentine's Day, obviously still in February. So I got more for that. So this one here, he got me two from the same place. And the guy told him that this one was in excellent condition, like better condition than he's seen any other ones go for. And this has some visuals on it inside as well. I have not played this one yet. Um, you know, but 
and I could still smell. <laughs> I asked the guy, uh, my husband, did the guy burn a lot of incense? Um, Cause my mom burned a lot of incense growing up. And when he gave them to me and I took them off the bag, that's the first thing it smelled like. So that's what it reminded me of. And he said, yeah, that the guy had incense burning all over the place. So there's this one. And then the last one that I have is this one here. Um, I picked this one out for myself. Um, I haven't played this one yet. No, I did play this one. This one doesn't have anything special as far as on the record itself. Pretty plain, but still you have the image on the front and then you have you know that right there on the back i got this one and lemonade from barnes and noble believe it or not and barnes and noble i used to more so go there a lot when i was younger you know getting books from like your reading list or whatever they've changed so much with what they have in there it is like a total totally different store it's almost like a little department store because they have some of everything they have an entire section i don't know if they're all set up this way i'm sure they are but off to the back side corner they have an entire record section so they have record players um back there that you can purchase of course they have record holders and they also have a nice selection of um different records and genres and stuff it's it's a real whole big setup like you set you step into it and it's like a separate record store so i did get those from there and actually i think my husband told me he got my homecoming one from there too so that's a good place to go if you're looking for records um barnes and noble they do have a kind of loyalty program or something that you can um join i think it's like a flat fee for the year and you get special discounts and stuff like that i found their prices were really were pretty good um yeah their prices weren't bad Target, of course, has vinyl, and um, you can find them on Amazon and stuff like that. I did find on Amazon that there is a markup in the price difference, but I feel like that's across Amazon in general. So, you know, depending on how bad you want it, I guess that'll depend on what you pay. But so that's my collection I have so far. There are a couple other records that I do currently have my eye on, um, but I'll wait till I get them and I'll come back and do like an updated record vinyl record haul so you all can see those let me put this away uh so far i haven't had any issues with scratching i know some people said um they had issues with the records skipping and scratching or um distorted sound for this player i have not had that issue let's turn it back so you can see again for that this record player i did not have that issue again the one i had the first time and I can't think of the brand, but it's like the most common brand you'll see when you look up like these suitcase style players. It had, it just, it didn't work right. Um, so this one, I have not had those issues. And then also Victrola has a record, an online record, um, what do you call it? Like record store, you can purchase through there. They have some decent prices, although they didn't have technically what I was really looking for. Um, this Tony Tony Tone one is a single. I prefer to have the album records, but I didn't realize because I wasn't really into vinyl before until you know I became interested in it. You'll have the singles. I think it's easier to find singles than the full album sometimes. So, you know, just keep that in mind depending on what it is that you want. And then lastly, what I'm looking in the market for, but I kind of want to thrift for it so it can be kind of like cool and quirky looking, is some kind of a record stand that you know i can put the records on and then have the player on top maybe something like wooden or um i don't know just something that's a little bit like quirky and different they have like new ones you can buy online but i haven't seen any that i really like so far so that's what i'm on the hunt for um so i can set up my little music corner right here where i'm sitting is behind the couch let me see you can see right here and then over here it has like my little workstation and then can you see that it has there you go so right here is the couch run behind then you have my plant stands and then my little workstation so you can just see that you know i do sit back here it's like my little setup um i sit back here and relax and listen to my music so i want to make like a little permanent setup over in the corner right here my kids don't really use this anymore um so I'm okay with moving it somewhere else or either even getting rid of it because, you know, as of right now, it's decoration because it just sits there. So that is it for, you know, my review. 
of the Victrola suitcase record player as well as my growing record collection there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you have any records. Um, if you have this record player, what's your experience or if you have another one. They do have, of course, more higher end ones. But again, I like to start off small. <laughs> and plus, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it just in case it was like one of those fleeting hobbies or something. But I really like it. Um, I'm glad that this one's worked out better because the other one I was like really not happy with. So, again, let me know down below if you have any records, what record player you use. And, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.